Mr. Jordan, Mr. Majors, hi. I'm Julian from Belgium. Thank you Bell for talking to talk to me. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Big Reed fan. Uh, got the soundtrack. Got the ah, Blu-rays. So um, I'm very, very excited for part three. It rocked my world. Great movie saw it yesterday. So um, congratulations on that. Glad you enjoyed um, it. Thank you, man. Mr. Jordan, as a first-time director, did you uh, did you take any advice from your colleagues, from directors you admire? Yes, definitely. I think I think you know, starting with Ryan Coogler, you know, um, you know, um, all the advice that that he's given me, and Stephen Capel, you know, who's you know another uh, um, you know friend of mine, and you know, obviously director of the Creed series, uh, all the way to Denzel Washington, to Bradley Cooper, John Favreau, um, you know, they all they all were very gracious, you know, with, with information and, 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 uh, you know, all gave me something different that definitely helped me my first time directing. Right. Uh, Mr. Majors, now you're new to the Creed franchise. Did the, uh, did the script allow for improv? Could you give your own spin uh, to the material? It was such an organic process. You know, the script I read initially, we, sh we could have shot, you know, word for word, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, it would have worked. Uh, but in the process of making it, in the process of, you know, growing the character, the relationships changing, shifting, what happens on the day. Yeah. I mean, the answer to your question is it was very uh, lucid uh, and very organic. You know, if you want to say this, you just you just throw it in there, you know, and the trust that was built was uh, was essential for that. That's great. That's great. Now, both Creed and Creed 2 have amazing soundtracks. Um, could you guys give some suggestions for part three or was it all, let's say, outside opinions? What do you mean? The music. Music selection. Oh, the music. Oh, yeah, yeah, the soundtracks. <laughs> I thought you said sound effects. I'm sorry. I said, no, 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 no. Soundtracks. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, this is, um, you know, help cultivating. We wanted a soundtrack, you know, this time around that was, you know, not like the other ones, other ones weren't, but we, a real reflection of the characters, you know, and the themes and, and um, the uniqueness of this movie. Uh, and, and we, we uh, you know, teamed up with Dreamville um, and, and we worked that, we worked through that. Great, great. Um, now, of course, I don't have to tell you guys, two years of cinema closures, COVID. It's a pleasure to see and experience Creed 3 as a cinema movie. I loved it. It's, a, it's not a streaming movie. Why do you feel Creed 3 is a movie that really demands the biggest screen possible? Because we shot it that way, you know? I think in, we intended, and I'm, we're really grateful that, you know, cinema is, you know, coming bouncing back and people are going out to see movies and it's safe out there and people are going. So it, it's it's uh, it's tremendous for the, you know, the movie industry. Um, you know, the, the you know, we wanted to make these fights feel bigger. Mm -hmm. you no, know, we shot it in IMAX. So, you know, it'd be a shame if we didn't, you know, get a chance to see it, you know, on the on those screens. So to really make you feel like you're in the ring with these boxers, you know, that you're hearing, you know, exactly what these fighters are hearing, that you can almost feel the punches. Um, and sound design is such an amazing part of this movie, um, especially dealing with the ASL family um, and the lack thereof sound. So you can really appreciate those moments where we really turn up the volume and really mm -hmm. make you feel like you're right there. So, um, you know, you know, being able to see this on the big screen in, in, in the movie theater is uh, is uh, is um, is how it's supposed to be uh, received. Great. Well, thanks, you guys. I, I have to wrap it up. Sadly, I have no more time, but uh, I want to congratulate you on the movie. It's really a pleasure. It's a uh, it's a future classic. So great job wow. to you guys. Well done, and uh, lots of success at the box office. <laughs> a lot, man. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye.